Right, now I'm joined by my special guest, a man perhaps better placed than anyone to know what the life of a beautiful princess is like. Except for actual beautiful princesses, of course, like Princess Leia or Andrea Ledson. It's former butler to Princess Diana, R.I.P. Paul Burrell. Hello, Paul. Thank you for Hello. coming into News Thing. Um, you know better than anyone the beauty and the tragedy mm -hmm. um, of the life of a princess. What advice would you be whispering into the ear of Meghan Markle right now if you could? I would say play your cards very close to your chest, trust no one, and rely on the support of your husband-to-be and his immediate family. They know best. That sounds horrible. I mean, you, you know, do you think that she knows what she's getting herself into here? No, she has no idea. If she'd come and say, Paul, yeah. should I do this? Well, what love, would you say? Well, love transcends everything, really, doesn't it? I mean, mm -hmm. if you truly love somebody, you get through any situation. I'd say to, I'd say to her, um, listen to Harry. He's been there. He's done it. He knows how to play this game. Trust him and trust his brother. This is the new team Windsor, the young team Windsor, who are the future of our royal family. Would all of this stuff have been Diana's advice if she was still alive? Um, she would be, as Harry said, her best friend. She would be. Um, she would say to her, I'll guide you through this minefield. Remember, Diana was only 18 when she first met Prince Charles, 19 when she became a royal princess. This, this young Meghan, not so young, 36, she's mm. already had a life. She's a mature young woman who knows what she wants out of life. Diana didn't know that. Mm. It, was, it was impossible for Diana. It's not impossible for Meghan. And what about the rest of the royals, mm -hmm. um, the older royals? Are they <clears> going <throat> to welcome with open arms or be a bit sceptical? I'm thinking here of Prince Philip, what of him being a bit racist. <laughs> uh, do you, how do you think that's all going to go? Oh, I'm sure Prince Philip will have something to say. But anything Prince Philip says, you just take with a pinch of salt because he doesn't really mean it. He's a, he's a diamond, really, you know. He really he's is. not really a racist, he's just he's being not. daft. He's just silly. Will the nation accept her? as our new Princess of Hearts, or as we are a nation secretly all too Christian and racist, because there are already some cynics, aren't there, saying that? Eh. I mean, she is divorced, American, Catholic, and multi, of multi-race. Mm. And what's the problem? Mm. I don't see a problem. In this modernised royal family, that is the face of the future. Get used to it. Right, have you seen the film Frozen, Paul Burrell? I have seen the film it's good Frozen. good film, isn't I it? I love it. Now, I've heard, and you might be able to confirm this, that the character Elsa was based on Diana, not just in terms of look, but obviously um, her ice powers too, because Princess Diana was at least widely rumoured to possess ice powers. True, she could freeze people out. Did, did you ever see her utilise her... To, did you ever see her shoot ice from her fingertips? Never. You are... I miss something. You are very loyal. Yeah, but You're I've, very loyal. I've never seen the Queen shapeshift either, oh. but apparently she does. I've, I've heard she does. Mm. It's impossible to know whether mm. these rumours are true. Um, anyway, Paul, listen, speaking of Frozen, yes. um, I am going to sing the show out and I would love you to join me in song. We're going to sing out in tribute to our new princess and in memory of your princess, Princess okay. Diana, we're going to sing out with the wonderful hit song, Let It Go, from Frozen. Would you care to join me? I will join you. Fantastic. Yes. Here, grab your microphone okay. from down there. Where are and the words? as we prepare, <laughs> um, I'd like to thank Paul Burrell and also my panel tonight, Paul Danan, Bella Younger and Andrew Pearce. OK, gang, let's take it away. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let, let it go. go. Let, Let it go. go, turn away and slam the door. I don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. Goodbye, chums. Goodbye, Paul Barrel. Goodbye, Paul Demand.